What is up, planet? It is The Priest, and I'm back with another Pick A Card reading. In today's Pick A Card reading, I'm gonna be looking and focusing on where you will be six months from now. This is gonna be in general, career and love, six months from now. Again, remember that time is of the essence, but it is also an illusion. So if you do happen to click on this video a month from now, it'll still pertain to you based on your life and the relevance of it. If you guys are new to the channel, shout out to the new subscribers. Welcome to the planet where we embrace love, happiness, freedom, and most importantly, truth. I'm super excited to get back to these videos. I had to take a short break, but I am back now. The energy in the world is starting to uplift. And so I really feel like there's going to be some good messages for the six months from now. If you guys would like to book a reading or are interested in my tarot online course, which I will be releasing June 2020, you can find that information along with pretty much everything else that I'm doing, including my Soul Journey webinar series. I'm doing that once a month, which is super, super, super dope. If you guys have been a part of the Soul Journey webinar, you pretty much already know what to expect. The energy is amazing. Connecting with like-minded people all around the world with me in my living room has been extraordinary. So I do want to thank you guys who have been a part of that. If you're looking for information regarding booking a reading, my online tarot course, my merchandise, you can now check out my website at thetarotpriest.com. And you can also check the description box below. All right, so let's get into today's reading and see where you will be six months from today. Here is a close-up view of the four different decks. We have deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. One more time, the green deck, the brown deck, the yellow deck and the white deck. All right, let's hop into today's reading. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and where you will be six months from today, including career, finances, love, and in general. All right, so the overall energy is support, ask for help, get more rest, nurture yourself. I'm gonna grab one of these, one of each to kind of just see where you guys are. All right, so we have material harvest. In six months from now, a lot of you will be, if you have not already, experiencing ego death. I've talked a little bit about that. You could be a Scorpio. Uh, we have a Knight of Cups and also a Queen of Cups, which tells me that six months from now, it's going to be a little bit emotional uh, for you or letting go of some things in your life. But it is for the purpose of removing for the new. So you guys do have a lot of new things coming in, but with the support, I just feel like you will be in a different place. But the purpose of this place is to help you grow into what it is that you are becoming. So if you guys could be a Scorpio, you don't have to be because we have Scorpio energy, but we have death on the board. And anytime death is on the board, I feel like there's a little bit of resistance going through this and will be during this time. So this is also what I'm feeling an uh, opportunity for you to get closer to your intuition because of the surroundings of emotions that you're going to be kind of experiencing. So I'm going to get a little bit into that. It's a lot of new changes that I'm hearing for you that are occurring and you may even feel like you're experiencing it now. If you already are experiencing this within the next six months, it's almost like a, 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 a flip of a page. It's a new chapter in your life. However, you must go through the process of the ego death. I've been talking a lot about this on my Instagram. So if you do not follow me, follow me at the tarot priest. If this is something that you're struggling for or from, or just again, getting control or having authority over your emotions. Cause it just feels like a roller coaster up and down and up and down. I feel like the waves are going to kind of calm in the next six months, but with this card support, that's why I said, follow me because if you're looking for support during this emotional time, which the next six months, it's almost like, again, you are shedding a lot about yourself, but a lot of this is coming from a place of emotions. Emotions that have been suppressed for a long time are starting to come to the surface and will start to come to the surface within the next six months. It's to help you get more grounded. Um, and I also feel like there's a lot of water energy here, um, water signs. So if you are a water sign, then this is definitely for you, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces especially Pisces. You guys could be those. You don't have to be. But I'm feeling like there is some needing of calming a lot of these emotions that are 
that are happening. And in a sense, what I'm hearing is your higher self is saying, when these emotions come, it's almost like you're, do not suppress them. Again, if this is what you're going through now, you're coming out of that within the next six months. But if you have yet to kind of experience this, which I'm feeling heavily that if you've chosen this deck, you've already kind of been experiencing that, this is to get you, again, grounded. So when the next wave comes, you could be a little bit more secure and, and not all over the place emotionally. So I do think that there's a new beginning that's happening within the next six months. Take this time, I'm hearing this is very important, to release emotions. There's a lot of hoarding, you know, it's like pushing something um, underneath a lid for so long, opening that up, it's just going to burst. And that's kind of what's happening in the six months and what you're getting ready to experience is just finding some groundation. And then also there's a lot of love messages here. So let's just kind of see what that's about. Um, we have children. So children are going to be a very big part. Some of you could have children. Some of you could be planning children or some of you will meet someone that has children so take that how it resonates um because children are a very important part of everything in your life actually this is all connected is what i'm feeling um so in the next six months what you're experiencing is also to get you back to that child in you and i've been talking a lot about this too this inner child getting back to you and your dreams and your visions that you have that you kind of let go of. So there's a lot of cleaning up that's happening emotionally, um, but in love, it's important, especially if you don't have children and you want children, your relationship with your inner child is very important. So that's for some of you guys. But a few of you are calling in a soulmate within the next six months, which is very beautiful because they could have children or I'm also feeling like it, it is going to kind of feel like puppy love. We have the queen of cups here. This is someone that you can express your emotions to. And this is someone who will listen. Very supportive also. So whoever this person is that's coming in within the next six months for a few of you is definitely a soulmate. Easily. So the visualization of this person for the next six months is very, very important because remember, you're creating your own reality. So make sure that you're visualizing your soulmate and not just what they look like, but what do they feel like? What is the what does the relationship feel like when you're together and you're visualizing this? So definitely use your dream portal to an advantage. OK, so the Wheel of Fortune, again, is a 10. It's a new cycle. It's a new beginning. So for those of you who don't release these emotions, then in the next six months, it's going to be like you're kind of repeating this chapter again. So this chapter is very, very uh, imperative to you and your emotional stability. And then also just getting grounded because some of you have some some harvesting that's coming. Some of you are going to reap what you've been sowing this entire time. So even though it feels like everything's kind of been crazy, make sure that you're planting the seeds. This is what I'm hearing very clearly for the next six months, planting the seeds in which you really want to grow. OK, some of you are trying to grow a whole entire um, garden and that could be literal for some of you. But the the this in a symbolic way, it's like take your time, just start somewhere, just start somewhere in a really good place internally. is just expressing yourself more and releasing these emotions that have kind of been simmering. All right. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. You have a lot of stuff coming in it's just happening very slow but what you're waiting for is you're just kind of waiting for yourself and what i'm hearing very clearly for you is that these these prayers or these affirmations or these visualizations of the things that you really wanted spirit is trying to prepare you to receive right now you're not in a place to kind of receive this in the next six months you will be ready to receive more material harvest financially i'm seeing that there's a lot of changes financially much more stability remember your emotions affect everything so if the emotions are at the core of what you're kind of cleaning out then this happens to be very important to your financial stability as well so you're finding stability and grounding in love in finances and just within yourself so you are becoming more devoted OK, so Krishna is all about being devoted to your spiritual guidance. So when things seem to be all over the place, just remember that there is definitely income coming in. There is definitely a person coming in. We have two knights. The knights are moving towards you with an offer of love and then also an offer of relationship. We have the Ten of Cups, which is beautiful. This is usually marriage, children. So I'm feeling like for some of you, very, very 
or very few of you that have been in a relationship for three years to five years, I feel like in the next six months, you guys are taking it up a notch. That's something too for you long, um, long term, even if you're already married, but long term relationships also. Now, if you're not, which I'm feeling like majority of you are not, you're preparing for the right one. So anything that comes within the next six months, be very cautious about it and about them because whoever this person is, Remember that they're very charismatic. They have a lot of emotions to share. They're definitely a soulmate. You have a lot in common, a lot of chemistry. And then also this job offer that's coming in uh, within the next six months, if you guys are looking for a job offer, spirit, higher self, whatever you believe, is trying to promote you to much a much more authoritative position. So make sure that whatever this opportunity is, it is positioning you for a promotion just in career in general, okay? All right, so the last two, we have love begins again. So you guys are finding a lot of love, even for yourself, within yourself, a lot more love. But I feel like the biggest thing to be aware of is just the opportunities of people that pass you by and the opportunities in general that pass you by, not to overlook them because you're looking for a specific person. Just remember how it feels. The career that's coming in and then also the person that's coming in remember how they feel and then understand that you're loved unconditionally your guidance from spirit is there this these are the most important times where we find our higher self is in those dark moments and in, in those dark times but look at this we have financial and material changes so the reason why you are kind of going through what you're going through now and will experience within the next five to six months is to get you into a more position of grounding physically, grounding in love physically, or grounding in yourself, grounding in finances so that you can have more material things. And so it's not bad to want material things at all. Remember that material harvest is just an expression of yourself. We are all abundant. And so how you choose to express yourself, honor that and really, really focus and hone in on what you're devoted to. I think that's going to be the most important thing. Your overall guidance is joy. Yes. What brings you joy? Joy is the highest energy of all. It's a magical sense that everything is possible. This is what this is all about is getting back to that childlike inner self. And in order to do that, you must go through an ego death. And what is an ego death? It's just simply your identity of what you thought or who you thought you were wasn't quite exactly right. So there's a lot of emotional toll that it's going to be taking place, but I assure you that it is all to also get you in a position to trust more of your spiritual guidance and in a sense, empowering you for the long run. It is all about growth, new beginnings in every aspect of your life. So just make sure that you're open to receiving if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and where you will be in the next six months. Don't forget to comment down below which deck you chose so I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and what to expect or where you will be in six months from now. All right, so the overall energy, remember, we're going to be looking at finances, general energy, and also career, but love in a sense and your growth because I'm figuring out that that's definitely going to be a big, important uh, period of your time and period of your life is within the next six months. That's what I'm noticing. So we have balance, truth in reverse, ace of cups in reverse, and the king of cups. All right. Some of you are looking, you're in a place right now, you're looking, 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 looking but you don't know what you're looking for. In the next six months, you're becoming more aware, uh, more of an enlightened experience of almost like turning on a light in a room. There's a lot that you've been overlooking, but some of you are just seeking, 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 and you don't really know what you're looking for. In this sense, love seems to be very important to you. And then also spirituality. What do you believe? So in the next six months, you're really gonna be questioning what the truth is, what really is religion, what is spirituality, what do I believe? And, and this is really important for you, deck number two, are your beliefs grounded within your own beliefs? Are they grounded within you or have you been grounded in other people's beliefs? Remember, beliefs shape your reality. So it is very important for you to kind of undergo that. That's what you're learning. And, and it's almost like in the next six months in love, it's very... It's non-existent in the sense of 
you're not looking for love in another person. You're just trying to become more aware of what love is. That's what spirit is trying to get you to understand is what is love? Remember love, it's a frequency, it's energy, but what is that? And so some of you are looking for love, but you're looking everywhere except for within. That is most important. Okay. So there is a little bit of a hold on your relationship because I just feel like what you're looking for, you must find within yourself before it can appear in your reality. Remember internal, external, what's happening here usually will shape our external. Okay. So let's just look into the love and just get some answers there. Past life relationship and you deserve love. Believe you are lovable. Yes. So that's exactly what I meant. You deserve love. But if you don't know what love is, you'll look in the wrong places, looking within and understanding that you are love. That feeling of love is coming from a place of surety. It's a feeling. It's an emotion. It feels right. Even when our mind tries to talk us out of it and scares us away from it, it is real love is feeling authentic. So you guys are learning a lot about love. Um, and then also your past relationships are very important to your life partnership. Okay. So studying certain relationships, why they didn't work out in the past and why you're here today. There's a sense of being kind of hesitant to receiving more love due to the things that have happened in the past. So we're going to get into that, but there are some tricky things here. All of this that you're going through now and we'll go through in the next six months is definitely internal work. Okay. It is super internal. Okay. We have the Empress. Some of you guys could be parents. You don't have to be or wanting children and marriage. Wow. So this is a lot about love, but it's teaching you a lot about yourself what you're looking for in others you can find in yourself that's also something that spirit is saying already we have taurus energy and we also have the empress which is mother a mother or a motherly love um, a lot of you are experiencing a lot of rocky foundationship also in six months it's not knowing where to start some of you have a fear of starting all over also and so being in the past is no longer going to serve you, right? It's about seeking the truth and understanding that there is love all around you, all around you and within you. This is a lot of internal stuff. Some of you are a little ahead of what you want. So you're, you're speeding. And so within the next six months, slow down, kind of be more observant and understanding. So you don't keep getting yourself in the same situations. Uh, because a lot of this is just a lot of hurt, a lot of pain that you guys have experienced in relationship and finding love. And so in the next, for this six months, I just feel like there's a lot of necessary movement to move forward. And then also question why you're living on a past loop. It's a karmic loop that I'm feeling with you guys, which means a lot of you are afraid that the things that have happened in the past will happen again. So you're not giving people fair opportunities. You're not giving yourself an opportunity to find uh, another love partner or find the truth. There's a lot here that's going on, but I do feel like within the next six months, slow down, take a break. That's why balance is here. Take time to relax because it is a lot going on. You know what you want. See, usually in other decks, I always have to say, you know, figure out what you desire, figure out what you guys know what you want, but you haven't really indicated the core of it as being a frequency of love because you're still looking everywhere else. You're still looking for answers outside of yourself. And that's the most important thing for you. Deck number two is that you keep moving forward and not staying in the past or being stuck in the past. Yeah, this is about freedom mentally. This is about freedom mentally. So a lot of you guys are freeing yourself within the next six months. And when I say freeing yourself, remember there are certain levels, right? We, we experience certain levels. So you can free yourself here, but a year from now, get trapped in something else mentally. And so mentally you deserve love. If you guys can hashtag that down in the comments, when you guys choose deck number two, just put deck number two hashtag. I deserve love. I am love. Okay. How can you be deserve? How can you not be deserving of love? If you are love, are you not deserving of yourself? That's another thing. Deserving of your greatest self. 
Some of you are trying to kind of in the way of just it, it, expressing yourself in, a, in the greatness of potential that you really do have in the way overthinking it constantly wondering if this will ever happen for you will you find this or will you do this all of those questions within the next six months it's preparing you to kind of release that so that you can become in a position to create a new chapter that's something some of you have to just turn the page turn the page release yourself it says i release myself from self-inflicted binds we also have five of cups which is the regret card I will move forward when the time is right, and then I go forward with confidence. So before you can move forward, if some of you guys are having a hard time with moving forward in general within these next six months, just understand it's because the lack of confidence. And again, it comes from you. A lot of you are discovering yourself still, the greatness that's within you. If you knew how great you were, you wouldn't look outside of yourself to find greatness. You are already that in which you are seeking. That's what spirit is saying. Some of it is a little bit confusing, but it's almost like just taking a step back and allowing things to unfold because in the next six months, you are coming to the ending of starting a new beginning. Some of you have just had a really hard time just starting all over. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's been a lot. But when I, when I said that the past is on a loop, if you're dating someone new, because there is a lot of love here, or if you're looking for new spirituality answers, we can't judge it based off of where we already have been in the past because everyone is different. Everyone has a different perspective. And so if we treat someone new like we would the past, then we're repeating those same cycles or treating a new job like the past, it's the same thing because everything is connected here, right? The deservingness or just understanding that you deserve love for just simply existing you enjoy or deserve finances for just simply existing. Some of us have to find the why do I deserve this? That why is the biggest question you're going to have this next six months. Why do I deserve this? Okay. That question is preventing you from more finances coming in within six months. And then also it is preventing a, a, a new start in a relationship that will lead to the family dynamic that you're looking for, that will lead to that marriage and children, if you guys are seeking that. Yeah, passion ignited. So it's like everything in this next six months, I'm not gonna lie, you need to rest. There needs to be a little bit of rejuvenation because it is gonna be a lot that you're dealing with. Um, freeing yourself, it's like you versus you. That's the battle, okay? What are you becoming? Yeah, downloads and understanding. So higher self is trying to communicate with you, all right, through dreams specifically. And then also just through your hearing. Hearing is the hardest to hear, um, to truly hear higher self because of our thoughts. So I would suggest starting off with just dreams or a dream journal. The truth is being revealed. The deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral rim. So a lot of the questions that you have are going to be answered if you would open up and ask the right questions. Why don't you want to start over? Or why do you have a fear of starting over? But in the next six months, you're going to have a new passion that's ignited for another project or something else. You're just, you're gaining more insight. You're growing a lot in the next six months. Um, but there is a little bit of resistance, deception, envy. It's just not getting hurt again. Choose wisely. It's interesting that we have these cards because wow, you guys still have a little bit of weeds in your garden that need to be plucked. And, and what I mean by that is like people, certain things in your life that it's, it's, I, I say this a lot, it's time to let go, but part of life is just, you know, not getting attached, enjoying it just enough to not get attached because a lot of you have fears of choosing the wrong person, or you have been choosing the same route and it's time for something new, the same route, right? We have deception of en envy and envy. We also have seven of swords, which is treachery, which is betrayal. That's usually betrayal. And then we have choose wisely with another seven. Patience usually is what seven means is patience when you're making these new ventures. Yes, it's time to start all over, but just be patient with that new adventure. So you guys are finding a love for yourself and understanding that you are your own anchor. And that is in love. That is in spirituality. You're at the core of it. You're just the start of it all. And then change in direction. Yes, exactly. Something new must happen and will happen within the next six months. But it is up to you to embrace that newness. It is up to you to embrace it 
or to kind of stay stagnant. A lot of you are moving forward, but you're just waiting for the confidence to know that moving forward is the right decision. And that comes from trusting your own self, trusting your inner self. The changes you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. So opening your heart to being guided, but again, there's trust issues because of the things that have happened. So that's another thing. That's why I said it's all connected. Last but not least, you are protected now and in the future. So follow your path to the happy outcomes you desire. Overall, in the next six months, passion is igniting. You're taking a different route to your destination. Again, your destination is to find a good, solid foundation to find fulfillment in this lifetime. And some of you really desire to have that family dynamic or to have that uh, relationship that allows you to just be yourself also. And a lot of you are going to be much more intrigued by the deeper depths of spirituality. Why am I here? What am I? Where did I come from? These deep, deep questions that you have the answers to, spirit is going to give you the downloads and understandings to understand just simply yourself, why you do certain things, why you do certain cycles, okay? This is kind of like a overall for the next six months, but for the most part, you're preparing for a new chapter in the next six months to change direction. But in order to get there, you must change direction. You must change direction. If you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and where you will be six months from today. Don't forget to comment down below, comment the deck that you chose and also what I asked you to hashtag because it's very important that you are open to receiving more. In the meantime, I'm gonna move on to deck number three. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading and where you will be six months from now or what to expect six months from now. And we'll be looking at overall energy, financial energy, and then just love. So let's just see what the overall energy is. Adventure. I love that. Higher learning. Recognition and reward. All right. And four of wands. So in the next six months, a lot is changing. This is a good deck. I feel good vibes with this deck. A lot of you have done a lot of work on yourself. I'm already feeling. Um, your spirit in the next six months is desiring to either take a vacation or do something differently, but most importantly, an adventure. So do something that is adventurous, says dare to do something differently. Yes, of course. Higher learning. So this new adventure that you're going to take in the next six months is to get you closer to learning more about yourself. And freedom is definitely a, a very key, important factor. And then also harmony is a very key, important factor. It says you've been through a lot. But it says you have learned from experience, more inner study is now required to further the program or the process. And really what that means is discovering more inner work and not so much out to work. We do a lot of external work when I think about it, but you're coming into recognition and reward or it's more of like, this isn't from people. This usually when I get this card, it's like a, a job promotion and we'll see if that's what it is. It's more of recognition and reward from yourself. It's from your higher self. We also have the Ten of Swords. So we are, you are wrapping up an ending, a, 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 a division ending. It's like a lot of discord that has happened. Uh, spirit is getting you prepared for more of a harmonious unity in union. And I keep hearing the word union in your life. Okay. So to do something differently, it's crazy because we have temptation and then we also have discontent and boredom. Okay. So that's why I said the adventure, some of you, you know, with this lockdown, depending on where you are in the world, it has created almost a sense of a groundhog day, doing the same thing every day. Your spirit is desiring to just be released, to be free. Um, remember our spirit and our body, two completely different uh, vessels here, two completely different entities. We have a vessel, but then we have the spirit within the vessel. The spirit is vastly larger than the body. And that's why our spirit, when it gets these desires, when it gets this inspiration, it, we just want to go. It's just this passion that becomes ignited. And so six months or within the next six months, plan something differently. Even if you drive for two hours away from where you normally live, your spirit is desiring to be free and to do something differently. It's very, very apparent here. All right, let's see what else we have. All right. So we have the, um, discontent and boredom. So that has to do with the adventure, but we also have temptation. 
So a lot of you guys have been going through some tempting moments with, you know, being on lockdown, going back to old ways, old habits, things of that nature that's coming up as well. But I feel like there is some love here. Let's see what this love is coming from. Okay, yeah. So it has free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So some of you, it is definitely time to start dealing with some of these things, even though you have been by yourself, because I do see some sanctuary time here, or in lockdown, wherever you are in the world, it does not mean that you or anyone has quite frankly worked on themselves. This is, this is more of a deeper working, right? You can be around people and work on yourself, but it says love yourself first. And then it's in reverse. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay. So this is about freedom and love for you. Now the endings that, that are happening in your life, just closing doors and endings that are occurring in, in newness is for you to be prepared for a much more fulfilling lifestyle, right? Living your life without a grudge of holding a, a lack of forgiveness is going to weigh you down. So spirit is really encouraging you to release this energy. All right, now we also have the seven of cups. There's a lot of options. There's a lot of things that you can do. Okay, so I'm feeling very strongly that there is a need to focus, okay? There is something that your spirit is desiring to do, but there's a little bit of resistance because you're overthinking it. Your spirit desires to travel. Your spirit is desiring to get into nature, to be harmonious with the universe. Remember, we're all connected, but your spirit is not desiring it from a place of temptation. So that's the importance here is, is being able to distinguish, is this a temptation or is this a desire? And what is bad and what is a bad desire? Because it seems like traveling is something that is very important to you. So in the next six months, either you're planning for that trip or in the next six months, you will plan that trip. So it's almost like there just needs to be a, a fresh new start to just getting back to what it is that you love and freeing yourself. So let's see what else we have here. King of Wands, I am successful in all that I do. There's a lot of mixed energy here on the board. I feel like there's a lot of confusion also with what it is that you guys are going to be experiencing within the next six months. But again, it is all to get you to look inward, to do things differently. It also says manifest your travel dreams, move to another location. So some of you do have passion and will have a passion or inspiration come up. And how will you know? You will be very excited to think about this, right? If I say, if I say Indiana, or if I say Indonesia, or if I say Fiji or Bora Bora, and you're like, oh my gosh, yes, this is the place, this is in this, wherever the place is that comes up within the next six months, your spirit, your higher self is trying to encourage you to get there. But your mind is a little bit of a issue because it overthinks things. How will I do this? How will this happen? Or maybe I'll just wait. Um, and obviously travel is different right now, but in the next six months, it's your spirit is just desiring to do something differently. Um, to, to try something new, but there's a little bit of a fear here because with the full card, this is the taking of the leap of faith card and it's in the reverse. So some of you are resisting this and, and not understanding that if you're holding on to something or someone or, or vision, some of you, it's a vision for, for the future of holding on to whatever it is. It is because you have hope that those things will change, but spirit is making it very clear that the only way this is going to change or the only way you're going to find this fulfillment or happiness is if you do the seeking for yourself. If you not only do the seeking, but you have to understand that this situation that has happened in the past, because again, we're looking at forgiving and learning is going, not going to change if you do not change. There you go. So as you change your reality change, it is never vice versa. It is never your reality changes and then you change. Usually the environment can kind of provoke us or certain things can provoke us, but ultimately we have to change to see the result externally. 
And that's what I'm really hearing for you. There's going to be so many options in the next six months. You're going to be like, wow, I didn't realize there's so many things I wanted to do in this world. There's so many people that I want to see so many foods that I want to try. Um, you know, learning new culture is coming up too. traditions. You know, there's, there's really cool uniqueness here. And it's almost like not knowing where to start. And then also not believing entirely in yourself that you can do that. There's a, there's a, drastic desire here that your higher self is also wanting from you to connect to help you further the process it's almost like your higher spirit is saying let me in let me in like you know you want help i can help you let me in all right the moon so we have pisces energy on the board and if you are a pisces you could be you don't have to be but basically my intuition guides me to the right decision. So the moon card is really cool because this means that subconsciously you're learning more things about yourself. And then also things that you didn't even realize that you loved and wanted to do is going to kind of rise to the surface um, in the next six months. For some reason, I don't really see you guys, like you could be dating, but I really just feel like this is a, a solo mission in the next six months. I, I'm feeling that it's gonna be a solo mission because you're still, there's still some forgiving and still some learning before you can move forward in a relationship. And that's why this moon card is, is here. The moon shines light on the dark, the things that cannot be seen. And that usually becomes a subconscious thing. Okay. Things that we don't even know that we're, we're doing right. Temptations and loops and karmic cycles that we keep getting into getting the same result, reading the same, meeting the same people. It seems like Groundhog Day. It seems like the same thing. To break that cycle, you must do something new. Ace of Swords, I am ready for a breakthrough to success. Not only do you need to do something new, but they're saying in the next six months, you're gonna have a breakthrough to success. More things coming in, but it is not because it just magically sprinkled. It's because you are starting to see the truth within yourself in reality, and you're really, really desiring something new. And until you're really passionate and amped up for this new beginning, it's kind of like the same day on repeat, okay? So this means changing your perception, how you see the world, how you view the world. Also with the Ace of Swords. So this is gaining mental clarity about what it is that you want. Some of you have some great ideas, even for entrepreneurship for some of you, but it's almost a, it's almost like, where do I start? So many options, I can do so many things. I'm so excited to do all these things. And then that's kind of all that happens. You know, you just get riled up about this excitement and then it dies down and you get excited about something else. But Spirit is saying this time, it, it, execute. Execute your excitement. That's your guys' message for deck number three. Giving and receiving is, is your guys' guidance. The entire universe operates in cycles similar to inhales and exhales. When you exhale, you inhale, you receive. When you give, you receive. You become out of rhythm with the universe if it is not equivalent. For optimal health, energy, and replenishment, balance each of your receivings with your givings. So it is also about finding balance within yourself. There is, remember when I said like excitement all over the place, it's also with just giving and receiving. Pouring into these excitements, executing these excitements is giving or pouring into what it is that you want so that you can receive it. Give and receive. You guys are gonna discover a lot of things within the next six months. There's a lot of really cool secrets that higher self reveals to you when you're ready. And I feel like all of this work that you're doing, it's worth it, okay? So when you guys are going through this, just remember this is worth it. You're breaking free from, from yourself. You're breaking free from anxiousness, anxiety, worrying about everything, and just letting things flow and having fun. Have a little fun. Okay, get a little bit of good energy and excitement going for you guys, because I just feel like in the next six months, you're going to have an opportunity to start something new again. And so clean up everything that you need to clean up, let go of everything you need to let go of and get ready for fulfillment. So overall, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading and what to expect or where you will be in the next six months. Don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and where you will be six months from today. And we're going to be looking at love, finances, and overall energy. So we're going to take one of each. Who you're becoming. All right, so I will say before I start, deck number four was definitely some heavy energy, okay? So you guys do seem to be going through a spiritual awakening, but it's like it just started. 
And in six months, it is still part of another spiritual awakening, which is not always bad. The spiritual awakening is literally just your spirit awaking within yourself. And so it, it can create some confusion and some conflict of interest because there are the spirit and there's also the mind. So there is a little bit of habit that's being created. But remember, progress, patience, those are the two words, progress, patience, and pathway, okay? Those are the three words for you guys in the next six months. Slow down, you will get to where you desire. These visions that you're having, the, the places in life and the things that you want to achieve, the fulfillment that you want to reach, if you've dreamt about it, if you dream about it, if you have a desire and you're going towards it, you will get there. Slow and steady wins the race. I had to think about what that, what that quote was. One step at a time to happiness. Remember, even the stairway to heaven is a staircase. Steps, all right? You can't just jump there. And that's something that was coming up a lot for you. Deck number four, this is going to be a very heavy spiritual reading. In fact, this seems like a one-on-one -on -one reading. This is a reading I would give to someone who would book a session. So this is going to be very intimate some of these things that I'm going to be saying today. Okay. Now you're releasing a lot. It feels like a lot is being taken from you, or it seems like you're losing a lot or you have lost a lot. That is an illusion. Okay. And you have not lost yourself. You will never lose yourself. It's impossible. You can lose sight of who you are, but yourself is always there, always attached. Okay. So that's something that's very important too. So a lot of the things that you're letting go is for you to retain later for sure fulfillment, okay? We're not looking for temporary satisfaction here, group number four. four. We're looking for deep fulfillment that lasts a long time. Not just being happy for the moment, okay? Spiritual union. So you guys are coming back to yourself. It's almost like, a building a relationship with you and your soul and your spirit, your higher self coming back into union. All right, let's see what else is here. Temperance. Yep. We have Sagittarius energy, but temperance is reconciliation. This is a heavy spiritual card. And I'm just smiling because I know that when we go through these spiritual awakenings, it sucks at first, but every single awakening that I've personally went through, I look back and I say to myself, I am so glad I went through that. It was painful but I'm so glad I did because I needed that knowledge to even move forward in this, in this next level. Okay. So that's why you can't skip steps and be super excited or exuberated to just jump ahead of everything and, and skip the process. The process is very important. So what, what it is that you're doing in the process, you're able to find more things to suit you for the next level. But if you skip level two, three, and four on Mario brothers, you're going to miss all of the necessary tools to get the, the princess in the end. And so you need level two, three, and four. That's what spirit is saying. You need these levels, slow process, patience. Okay. You're coming back to yourself in six months. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful union. You're falling in love with yourself. Now, if we're looking at love, we have codependency. So you're learning how to love and feel that love that you feel with other people. Cause you're definitely a people person. Some of you are definitely a people person, especially if you're a Sagittarius, because that's the energy that's here. If you're not, you know, take it how it resonates. Um, but the codependency is depending on someone or something else to bring you fulfillment. And that's why I said, temporary satisfaction is no longer going to be able to carry you over in this next awakening. It's it, we need more deep fulfillment. And so you will have to let go of those things that are temporarily satisfa uh, satisfactory to you because they're satisfying you for maybe a day or a couple of hours or some of you, maybe 15 minutes, you know, this could be food. This could be a, a job, a career. Um, this could be building your own business. You're just escaping escapism, escapism of depending on other things to make you feel good in a temporary moment. But what you're really longing for is that fulfillment. So yes, when you find your soul, the mate will appear. That's something that I'm going to be talking about a lot on my soul journey uh, webinar. So don't forget to check the description box below for that new love. So you're preparing for a new love, but this new love is falling in love with yourself again. Find the soul, the mate will appear. 
If some of you are looking for a soulmate, you must find yourself first. And when I say find yourself, I mean deeply find yourself. It also says stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Remember, the patience. Some of you are like, I know I have a soulmate. I just know I have a life partner. I know that there's someone. That's such good energy, by the way. If you guys haven't got there in the next six months, I feel like you will definitely get there because I'm feeling that energy of just get excitement about your soulmate coming in. Get excitement about your new life and also uh, the things that are happening. Goddess. Okay, so you're finding and discovering your inner beauty. It says love every part of you. Okay, honor your feminine energy. Feminine energy is compassion, nurturing, love, charismatic. This is just opening up more, being more vulnerable with yourself in the next six months. So you guys are discovering who you are in six months. And that is a big, big deal because there are some people that are fairly older and still haven't yet to discover themselves. So some of you guys have an advantage. Sanctuary. So this six months, I don't really feel like love is going to be the most important thing. The only, in, in the sense of finding it within another person. So having a relationship, I don't feel like is, is as important as your spiritual union with yourself. You have a soulmate, you have a life partner. I wouldn't even spend time worrying about a life partner, but I would spend time visualizing the feeling of a life partner. So again, very, very short, like very, very particular energy. Worrying that I'm not going to find a life partner and excited that I'm going to find the right partner is the major difference in actually manifesting the outcome. Okay. So we have sanctuary, take time from the world, spend more time alone, meditate or go on a retreat. This alone time doesn't have to be physically alone. It just could be with self, something that you really enjoy doing. Awakening presence, the universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. So again, you guys are going definitely through an awakening. I, I don't, I do not doubt that at all. We have suffering and silence. We have patience, patience. We have sacrifice. In order to get, you must give. In order to get, you must give. They're saying that for the next six months, some of you are like, I, I know I have a life, but you must let go of this so that you could receive what you really want. The real fulfillment is the temporary once a month enough. I mean, this is, this is some deep stuff here. This is a very beautiful place of fulfillment that nobody can take. So imagine a fulfillment where everyone can leave you. You can have no friends, no relationship, no job, and you still feel fulfilled. That's, that's a lot of power. And that's something that I've personally experienced. And it's, it's euphoria that lasts forever. It's just a fulfillment. And, and sometimes when you go to sleep, you're like, mm, wow, am I really fulfilled? And you wake up and you're like, well, I'm still fulfilled. You know, it doesn't just go away. It doesn't just disappear. So partnerships and alliances, again, sacrifice, get or, or leave to get let go to get get or give to get give to get give sacrifice so that you can receive partnerships and alliances we're going to look into this in a second just want to see what you're doing the hangman time to change that perspective this is a huge huge spiritual deck i mean i cannot describe this this is another level of spirituality that you guys are uh, exceeding in the next six months this this is a high level light worker stuff discovering your purpose this is some deep fulfillment that you guys are experiencing. I can see this situation from another perspective. So that just tells me that it is, you have to switch your perspective to see it differently. Okay. Queen of wands. I am naturally creative. We have nine of pinnacles. We have a lot of uh, grounded contentment in success. It says, I take the time I need to nurture myself. Okay. I take the time I need to nurture myself again. It is about loving every part of you and get, getting to know every part of you. All right, so we have the lovers. We have Gemini energy. We have the lovers in reverse. We also have the Knight of Swords. We have the Nine of Pentacles twice, okay? This would be abundance. So when you love yourself or you completely know yourself, you will also know abundance. You will know that you are abundant. So again, it's all connected. It's all connected. All right, and then we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. Definitely time for a new perspective. 
try to see the world differently in the next six months you will be provoked to see things differently you will have inspirations come through you will have breakthroughs of revelation and these revelation breakthroughs this is not just shallow surface things finding yourself is one of the most biggest assets you can have in this lifetime self-awareness this is for highly successful people they are very aware of weaknesses of strengths they're very aware of themselves and so as you learn more of yourself you also learn that you are abundant these things that you're looking for you are already and so with the codependency me depending on something to give me what i already am is just kind of counterproductive and so in the next six months there is a lot of new, beautiful energy of just discovering things. Write things down, journal them, you know, audio record them. Document your journey. Steady progress. What have I been talking about? Progress, patience, pathway. Now the pathway is coming up here because it is time to change your direction of pathway. Okay. Now the suffering in silence is just it has nothing to do with anyone else, but everything to do with yourself. So even with steady progress, it says we acknowledge you for the progress you've made. Again, if you're here, if this is the deck you've selected, you have done some work. Okay. You have done some work. You have sacrificed some stuff. You have been through some things. It says we can clearly see the contribution you're making to the world through your thoughts, feelings, and actions of love. So this is a very beautiful thing, but with the suffering and silence, this is about being honest with yourself. Is this situation, in the next six months, you will question, is this situation worthy of fulfillment? Am I okay with just temporarily being satisfied or do I want fulfillment so that when I go to sleep and I wake up, I'm still feeling good. I'm still feeling fulfilled and within. Those are the most important questions that you have to ask. Deck number four, remember you're a goddess or God Remember that you encompass this. This is why we say energy. You're that inner God, energy, okay? It's much more than what meets the eyes. It's much, much more than what you see. So happiness and fulfillment is going to be the goal for you in six months. So everything that's occurring is because if you say, I want fulfillment, you must now have to get rid of or sacrifice the things that are no longer bringing you fulfillment. So if you guys chose deck number one, don't forget to comment down below. Fulfillment over temporary satisfaction is definitely here. Patience, progress, and pathway is also here for you, deck number four. I'm wishing you guys the best. Don't forget to comment down below and get some words down there so I can get some... Ugh. Don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of feedback back to you guys. This is going to be a heavy journey, okay? This is going to be something that only you can walk your way through. People can assist you, they can help you, but it is ultimately up to you. So if you guys are checking out this video, until the next time, I'm wishing you the best. Stay encouraged on your pathway. Remember, everyone's on the same journey, just taking a different path to get there, different route to get there. Be patient with yourself. Allow things to unfold naturally. Until next time, love and light to you guys all.